Today we are very happy to have with us Professor K.V. Nagraj, Head of the Department of Mass Communication, Assam University, Silchar. Sir, welcome to the program. Thank you. So today we are going to discuss about the growth of social media as a means of communication, its implication in society, its growing importance. So sir, so basically uh, social media is a upcoming kind of media in society. We have seen that especially youngsters were hooked onto the yes. different social networking sites. So yeah. do you think that it's a kind of medium through which we can communicate with each other, we can translate our uh, knowledge and information in society through this medium? Yes, uh, uh, you know the popularity of social media is quite amazing. You know, it all started uh, with uh, the emergence of the Twitter, the Facebook, and the media have become more and more interactive, personal, and amazingly global. Anybody in any part of the world can communicate with any other person and exchange ideas and information. And the way in which it is spreading is also quite phenomenal. What other media could not do for decades, I think the social media have been able to do. And uh, recent events are a very fine example of how social media can change the whole uh, landscape, the political scape and the cultural scape of the world. And uh, when the Mumbai uh, city was attacked by terrorists a few years ago, it was the Twitter which gave the latest information to the people. And if you take uh, the Arab Spring and what has happened in most of the Middle Eastern countries recently, including uh, Tunisia, Libya, Turkey, Yemen and Egypt, you will find how things are you know, becoming totally different. And you believe me, it is the voice of the people and people are able to communicate beyond frontiers and it is becoming such a power no dictator no government can withstand the power of the social media mm -hmm. and another fine example which i can give you is the latest movement against corruption in india the group of anna hazare which you normally call as uh, team anna mm -hmm. Team Anna has managed the social media so effectively, mm -hmm. it has brought uh, the union government to its knees in accepting the demand of Anna. Mm -hmm. You can imagine how in the next few years, this social media will spread and will make things more and more transparent, more reachable all over the world. In fact, I find it as one of the offshoots of globalization. Mm -hmm. Globalization is responsible for it. Mm -hmm. At the same time, social media is also enabling globalization. Sure. Yes. People from different cultures, mm -hmm. different um, uh, mindsets, mm -hmm. different political systems, they are coming together for certain causes. Right or wrong, history will speak about it, mm -hmm. but what is happening is quite amazing. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine again, children of six years of age in metros like Delhi, Bangalore, Mumbai, Kolkata and other places having their own Facebook accounts mm -hmm. and communicating with each other. Mm -hmm. You, if you see how the culture of the people is also changing, it is uh, quite phenomenal. Uh, but I am also a little bit worried about uh, the negative aspects. Yeah. The positive aspect is it brings people together, yes. nations together, 
cultures together, ideologies together and also makes everything democratic. Yes. On the other hand, social media can also become a tool to propagate anarchy in the world. Yes. The established institutions can crumble. Mm -hmm. It is not only the political institution I am talking of, mm -hmm. it can be even a social institution. See, marriage is an institution, yes. family is an institution. Mm -hmm. If all these institutions crumble in the face of the onslaught by the social media, if our cultures get hybridized, if our institutions become weak, mm -hmm. and if our value system undergoes a change, mm -hmm. if not for good but for worse, then I can't imagine how the world would be like. And the second one is, it should not become uh, narcotic in its effect. Mm -hmm. People are so much hooked up today with social media. Mm -hmm. I think 50% of their quality time people are spending on communicating. Yes. And uh, are they not wasting their time only on communicating on frivolous issues? Mm -hmm. There are better things to do in life, mm -hmm. I think at some point of time, we have to consider both the plus and the minus points of mm -hmm. the effects of social media. Mm -hmm. I am really worried about one aspect, that mm -hmm. is culture. Okay. See, I believe in having different cultures to coexist in the world and in their own original shape. The problem now is we are getting hybridized mm -hmm. and hybrid culture is making inroads mm -hmm. and uh, you know there is no variety in culture. There will be a monotonous culture if there is going to be only one single culture. Mm -hmm. And that's where I am really worried about the social media mm -hmm. and its impact. Particularly the young people are hooked to it. Yes. And, and there is one particular drawback as far as I've seen like uh, especially youngsters I'm talking about like they go on a spree making friends some unknown friends so yes. the end result is sometimes uh, it's been misused yes uh, they upload their photos their personal photos and someone misused them and they kind of crop it edit it and paste it in a very vulgar way so yes. ultimately you know it's kind of like impinging upon one's privacy that, so is, that is true one drawback that is I've true seen. that is true it is not only privacy, you know, it is also uh, the individual status, the individual reputation and an individual's uh, uh, right to have a decent life. And when uh, it is attacked, when people are enticed, particularly children and young ladies when they are enticed by some unscrupulous elements. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the other way is also true. Some uh, ladies also can use it to entice some people yes. who are rich and wealthy. Mm -hmm. And what happens is ultimately, that's what I said, our social system will crumble. Yes. The society will crumble. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, will le we will be moving towards a state of affairs where social anarchy will be in the order of the day. Yeah, that's why the personal touch is declining. Yeah. Yes. We have become too materialistic, too technology dependent. Yes. So the very fabric of communication which we believe is uh, like a person to person communication, we meet in person, and that is declining I've seen. Uh, yes, uh, that is true. But it has its own advantages yeah, it also. Its own advantages. The, the best thing that can happen is the democratization of communication mm -hmm. and everybody comes to know of what is happening in a particular place mm -hmm. and uh, apart from the negative aspects uh, you have to appreciate the positive aspects yes. also mm -hmm. uh, but what happens is when positive aspects are being overridden by negative aspects mm -hmm. you will start worrying so there should be what I call as a Lakshman Rekha mm -hmm. for everything and people should be educated as to the good and the bad effects of social media. Mm -hmm. 
and here I talk about media literacy. Okay. Media literacy is very important mm -hmm. because it makes people you know, scrutinize the role of the media, its positive effects, its negative effects and also it prescribes a definite role for the media mm -hmm. in any society. Look, we are not a developed society. Mm -hmm. We are a developing society. And there are many problems which we have, uh, uh, which we have to encounter, mm -hmm. which we have to solve. And unlike the developed countries, our problem is of education, mm -hmm. employment. Yes. We don't have that kind of time to spare on frivolous issues, mm -hmm. which normally uh, the people in the developed countries indulge in, in their leisure time. Mm -hmm. And if we get hooked to social media all the 24 hours, mm -hmm. it is not good for the economic health of the nation yes. as well as the cultural health of the nation. Mm -hmm. So that's why I believe that departments of mass communication in the several universities mm -hmm. should take to media literacy campaigns yes. and start educating people, not only uh, people who study mass communication, but the general public as a whole and tell them Look, these are the positive aspects. These are the negative points. Mm -hmm. It is for you to decide. Mm -hmm. And all of us have a kind of responsibility towards the society. Yes. And we call it as social responsibility. Yes. And I believe that as students and teachers of media, mm -hmm. we have to inculcate this uh, uh, media literacy approach mm -hmm. among the general public yes. and make them understand what the media are doing mm -hmm. or not doing. Okay. It has got both sides yes. and uh, if you start scrutinizing mm -hmm. and that is the first phase of education right. and you educate them and they will become sincere and serious students of not only mass communication but also of public affairs. Yes. That is what I believe in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, sir, thank you very much for okay, our discussion you. on uh, social media. It was really informative as well as okay. very entertaining also. So, dear learners, uh, here we come to the end of our program. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.